Hi friends, I'm so glad you joined me today. I'm recording this from home because we know this is a time when we need to stay home, keep everyone safe and keep ourselves safe. And what I'd like to talk to you about today is a little bit more about Jesus. We've learned so much about him. We know that Jesus could perform amazing miracles. We know Jesus was the son of God. Jesus was our savior. And for all of those amazing things that Jesus could do, the most amazing thing that he did was on Easter morning. You see, the reason Easter morning happened, the whole reason that Jesus came was to take away our sin. One of my favorite Bible stories is about a man who wanted to know more about who Jesus was and why Jesus came. That man's name was Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a leader of the Bible days back then. He was a Pharisee. And Pharisees were people who taught the law and the rules to everyone. And Pharisees didn't like Jesus very much at all. They really didn't like the things that Jesus was teaching. You see, the Pharisees believed that the way to get close to God, the way to be a part of the kingdom of God, was to follow all of the rules. If you just followed every single rule and you did it absolutely perfectly, that's how you could be part of the kingdom of God. But that's pretty hard to do. Nobody can follow every single rule perfectly every single time. Nicodemus was a Pharisee, and he'd been watching Jesus and listening to Jesus, and he was starting to get a feeling that maybe, maybe Jesus really was someone special, that maybe Jesus was sent from God. Nicodemus really wanted to learn more from Jesus. He had so many questions he wanted to ask, but he couldn't just go right up and talk to Jesus. The other Pharisees, they'd be furious. A Pharisee would not be seen in the company of Jesus. And so Nicodemus came up with a plan. He decided he'd go out at night. Late at night, when it was really dark, he would sneak out, and then he could talk to Jesus. And that's exactly what he did. Late one night, when no one was looking, Nicodemus snuck out, and he went to the place where Jesus was staying. He had so many questions for Jesus. He wanted to know, how is it? What do you have to do to be part of the kingdom of God? Jesus's answer surprised him. Jesus didn't tell him to follow a whole bunch of rules and to do everything perfectly. Jesus said, in order to enter the kingdom of God, you have to be born again. Born again? Nicodemus thought that sounded crazy. How could a grown man become like a little baby again? But Jesus wasn't talking about becoming a little baby again. Jesus was talking about a new birth of the heart. Jesus was talking about a change in someone's heart that is so radical, so different, so dramatic, that it changes who they are on the inside. The change that comes from accepting who Jesus is that he's the son of God, that he's our savior. Nicodemus was a little confused by these words. He didn't really understand. And then Jesus spoke the following words to Nicodemus. These are probably the most famous and certainly some of the most beautiful words ever written in the Bible. Jesus said, for God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not be lost, but have eternal life. Those words changed everything. Nicodemus began to understand that it wasn't about following the proper rules. It was about who Jesus is. He began to understand that Jesus was sent by God. He was God's son. And trusting and loving Jesus is what would take away sin. Sin was taken away by our Savior, Jesus. Those words changed everything. Those words changed Nicodemus. Those words change you and me too. You see, we can't follow every rule perfectly. We can't always do everything perfect no matter how hard we try. But we can accept the love and grace of Jesus. And it is Jesus who takes away our sin. 
It's Jesus who restores us. Jesus makes us clean. He makes us whole once again. To show you a little bit more about how Jesus can make us whole once again, you may have noticed that what I've got today is a can. I just have an old soda can, and it's been crushed in on the sides, and it doesn't look like it's really useful anymore. Not much I can really do with an old can, put it in the trash or put it in the recycling, but it really doesn't have much use anymore. But I want you to watch what happened when I take this can. I'm going to take this can, and I'm going to just give my can a couple of good shakes. <gasps> look at that. The sides have completely restored. It's absolutely amazing. This is not a useless can after all. It's completely filled and useful. That's what Jesus does. Jesus can take what may feel dented in and broken in us, and he makes it whole. He restores it, and he makes it new. That's why Jesus came. Jesus came to be our savior, to take away our sins, and because of him, we are restored, we are forgiven, we are born again. Let's listen one more time. I want you to listen again to those words, those beautiful words from John chapter 3, verse 16. Jesus spoke these words to Nicodemus. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, so that whoever believes in him shall not be lost, but have eternal life. Who Jesus is. Jesus is our Savior. Would you pray with me? Would you bow your heads? Let's talk to God. Father God, thank you for sending your one and only Son. Jesus is my Savior. In his holy name. Thank you, friends. I'm so glad you were here today, and I hope you come back again. There's so much more we can learn about Jesus, who loves you so very much.